friends i am mrs kangna today we will learn the earth in the solar system let's start to study the earth in the solar system the night when one side of the moon is completely visible from the earth is called a full moonlight or purnima a night without a moon or a no moon night is called a new moon night in hindi the new moon night is called amavasya the night sky is full of immeasurable twinkling bodies these bodies are called stars there are very big and hot crystal bodies made up of gas and emit large amounts of heat and light stars closer to earth appear brighter the sun is a star closest to us clusters of billions of stars along with dust and gas are bound together by gravity such clusters of star are called galaxies million of galaxies together make a universe some in stars in ancient times not twinkle and just go steadily these celestial body are called wandering stars today we recognize these body as planets the sun the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are called crystal bodies they have their own heat and light which stay emit in large amounts these crystal bodies are called stars while watching the sky you will notice the various patterns form different clues of stars these are called constellations One of the most is easily recognized constellations is a small bear or Sapta Rishi. Sapta seven Rishi sages. The sun and the celestial bodies that move around in form of solar system. It comprises large number of the bodies like planets, their moons, comets, asteroids, meteorites, meteors, and meteorites these objects are held together in the solar system due to sun's gravitational pull the sun is major source of heat and light for all the planets our solar system's planets reflect sunlight that is incident on them they have no light of their own so they don't twinkle like the stars planets have definite parts called orbits which they revolve around the sun the time taken a planet to complete full revolution around the sun is called period of revolution a time taken by a planet to rotate a full 360 degrees on its axis is called period of rotation in the order of them increasing distance from the sun the planets are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune once considered as a farthest planet that lost its status of being a planet and is now treated as a dwarf planet The sun is a star closer to the earth which is at a distance of 8 light minutes from the earth. It is a huge ball of gases mainly hydrogen the nucleus of huge reactions that take place is converting hydrogen gas into helium gas gives out tremendous amount of energy in the form of heat and light for the brightness of the sun. The sun is so huge that nearly a million earths can be enclosed in it. Mercury that responds the earth's smallest planet in the solar system and it's closer to the sun it takes about 88 days to complete one revolution around the sun. It has no satellite of its own, Venus. that the second closest planet to the sun it takes about 25 days to complete one revolution around the sun 
it has no satellite of its moon. Venus rotates from east to west. It is brighter than planet in the night sky. It appears eastern sky before sunlight and western sky. After sunset from this region, Venus is called a morning star or evening star, although that is not a star. Earth is the only planet on which life is no access. It takes 65.25 days for the complete revolution around the sun. It takes 24 hours complete one rotation about its axis. The tint of the earth axis is responsible for the change of seasons of the earth. There is a tint blanket of air surrounding the earth called atmosphere. Right temperature range, presence of water and suitable atmosphere, and a blanket of ozone support life on Earth. Earth has only one natural satellite, that is a moon. The red planet Mars has a two moons, Phobos and Deimos. The Martian soil contains a large amount of iron oxide, which keeps radius appearance. Mars complete one revolution around the sun. In 687 days, Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter has four large moons called Io, Europe, Callisto, and Ganymede, and many small moons in rotates the fastest amount of all planets. It has a famous great red spot, which is a great hurricane on Jupiter. It has a frame crinch around its Jupiter sky easily, as it appears called bright. Saturn is the second largest planet in solar system. It appears yellowish in color. The rings of Saturn are made up of ice particles and thus Saturn is the only planet that is lighter than many moons in the longest of them. In Titan, Uranus is also the goldest planet like Venus. And Uranus also rotates from east to west. It is a highly tidal portion axis so that and its uh, orbital motion. It appears to roll on its side. Neptune was discovered to mathematical calculation and has two known satellites. It has rings them to Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars are called inner planets. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are called outer planets. The outer planets have several moons and the systems of rings. The inner planets is smaller than the outer planets. The outer planets are colder than the inner planets as they are farther away from the sun. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, and if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. Thank you.